Alright, I know it's been one week missing again. Uh, some of the stuff we order finally got here. So I'm gonna think I have to unbox it. Now, this is a figure. You can see it's well wrapped. Actually, I pre ordered this thing a while back and it came up pretty quick compared to all the other stuff how late it's coming. And this is not the stuff I was waiting for to unbox, but since this got here quick for the other thing. And I got here by DL Buffalo E, uh, the other weird uh, shipping company, you know, regular shipping in your country, UPS, and FedEx, and there's another one. They did it pretty quick. Guessing they went through the, they shipped it. And explain everything, you know, just that we're shipping right because right now they're kind of, you know, behind. I'll just ship the plane to get stopped in our way. Alright, this is from a good smile company. I like their figures. And as you can see, that. And we got Bertalia from the from Rise of the Shield Hero. From Poyu Pop Party, oh, I'm not gonna say Pop Up. Oh, I guess I Pop Up is a new series of figures that are easy to collect with a uh, picture prices and specially electric. Each figure style stands around seven to eight inch in height, and the series is featured a very selective of characters from popular animated and game series. We made it more to add up. Alright, so this is series 2, we're going to come get series 1. And of course, here's the company. If I can get a good S. For the animated company. And I see in the bottom, has pretty much nothing. In the back again, the front, nothing. So it's just basic. But this thing is. seems pretty weird. I don't want to rip it or break it. Alright, here it is on top, the tape. Alright, uh, there. Now for the other side. I think it's just two tapes on top. That makes it easier. Check. And about three tapes on top. I guess you can use that as a background if you want. So we have the figure, and I'm not sure if there's any tapes inside of the shoe, so let's just cut them. Alright, we got one. Two. And three. And there's nothing on the bottom. There's no extractions or anything like that. So when you open these, you better maybe open it like this. So you don't throw anything too far. After you cut the tape off, there we go. Here we got the stand. It's just regular, nothing special. But let's take a closer look at it since it's be hard to see it after. You know, put it on. I have something in here right in. I can't even tell what the lights are. Oh, some this way, I think. Alright, it's just the 2001 Dutch product company name. 
Yeah, it's just, you know, they made in China and, you know, a couple of stuff. Alright, so this figure, I just will tell you, that with her sword, which apparently already has the heel right there. Because I have no instructions. Nope, nothing, no telling you how to put the thing together or anything like that. There's only one spot left to check. Alright, I take this thing out. Carefully off camera, I'll check this if it's inside. I was able to look inside that piece of paper, but it's freaking hard to take it out there. I almost ripped it off. And nope, don't see any instructions, so it must be simple enough to believe that anybody purchased it, can easily it, you know, put it out. Alright. So this thing is a little tiny sword. I they had the other one, the one that's like uh, clear, do like on he cuts through enemies that have no physical body. <laughs> but it's just a regular one. Gee, they're really tearing this thing. Wow. Okay, I don't see, I think it goes in that tiny hole right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a little sideways, so... There we go. So it does have to have a specific form, so it goes sideways like this. If it won't fit easily, then just turn it around. Figure goes right here. A little stand right there. And I think that's it. Alright, let's so look at the details on this thing. It sends out uh, kind of hard to sh you know, do the feet first and go up from there. Let me move my camera lower. There. Alright. So we got our shoes. Our boots are basically the same thing, nothing that special, but if I can get the light right. Intel details right here. This thing. Alright. Nothing special, it's just large ass boots. I guess the most details will be right here on top of the knee. So let's just go a little higher. Let me set the camera. Alright. Her skirt and dress has a couple of beers. These are separate pieces. Hold on. That is just color in, I believe. And that is not color in, actually. It's a separate piece to the belt. Well. Wow. Her tail. Oh, you can see the mole part right here, but it goes up another separate piece. Well, it'll be kind of hard to do it like that. I'm not looking at them. Wait. Is her tail and her hair different color? It looks darker and her hair looks brighter. I know that's not done on purpose. Okay, that pretty much the sets up the basic details on the lower body for the upper body. Her little bow tie. Pretty cute. These, I believe, I don't remember what they were for. I think it was when she was in change. I don't know where she kept them, but whatever. Damn. That's a lot of small little tiny hands here, like I'm gonna break them touching it. Fucking the gloves are also separate parts, I think. Oh, this is a lot more detail than I thought it would be. 
The sword is pretty cool too. Uh -huh. But I prefer the one with the clear. So that would be different plastic and since it has you know, it's still separate and take it off. They should have put it like you can put one here or something on the floor and put it change with the other one. Of course her face. I haven't seen the show in a while, but, but her eyes always pink. Oh, is that an error? Come on right down below your dots. Her ears are separate parts, of course. Her hair is pretty crazy everywhere. Yeah, I like this figure, it's pretty nice. There's not much details to tell for her. See her armor right here. It goes all the way to the back, you can't see it because of the hair. But if you go little like this, you can see it. Pretty nice. Well, I think I might get the bird. It will be a, uh, what's her name? Beetle, I think, something like that. When she's actually a bird, I think at the, I think I saw it was about this big. Maybe, you know. But they get another figure from different show, series, from different show. The, but I'm probably gonna open that one next week, or if the stuff that I order finally gets here, because this is the price. This got here pretty quick. I, I pre-ordered it a couple of months ago. Yeah, and I pre-ordered this on J List, I believe it was. Like I said, I can't remember what website I ordered it from, <laughs> but it's directly from Japan. As you can see, the box, all the warnings are Japanese mostly, and English. So it's actually it's safe and ship it anywhere. Mm, pretty nice, we tell ya. Am I pronouncing that name right? It's been a, like I said, it's been a while since I've seen the show. Pretty basic figure, like I said, they say right here. Easy figure type, stands around, you know, easy to collect and all that. So, doesn't have that much to show off. So, yeah. And I'll be in the video, and uh, next week, I'll try unboxing. Excuse me. Whoa, that was weird. Just hiccup for no reason. Because then next week I try to unbox the other figure that order is not from the Rise of the Hero, Sh Hero, Sh Hero Shield. Or, oh yeah, I mispronounced that too again. So, it's from a different anime show. And I'm probably gonna look for this uh, new uh, series of figures from Smile Company. If they have some from video games that I like, that'd be cool. I wonder if I can find a Mario or a Peach or. Whatever, but if that figure the uh, unboxing, uh, if not, the box hopefully the last thing I've been ordering for damn two months going everywhere. Oh, sorry, I got a little sidetrack. See you guys next week.